Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have something a little bit different for you. We're going to do a 20 minute high low impact cardio workout. So all that means is we're going to do a combination of high impact and low impact exercises. Now, if you don't want to do any high impact whatsoever, I'll also have a variation or a modification for you. Okay, so this is just for people who might want to progress their routines a little bit, bring up the pace a little bit or bring up the tempo. Let's get warmed up first now before we start. So driving the arms by the waist, bringing the knees up, good. And just gently going from toe to toe. Let's take in some air now. So big exaggerated breath in and breathe it all out. Fill up those lungs for me, not just your upper portion, but try and get down into the lower lobes of the lungs as well. Okay, now as we go through the warm up, we make the moves that little bit more progressively, um, not harder, but just bring you up a little bit, the tempo up a little bit for you so you can get nice and warm, particularly if you want to do the higher impact version of the exercises. Now let's do a bent arm lateral raise, lifting and lowering. Good work. Lift up and lower down. So up to about shoulder level. Squeeze your shoulders. Just get those shoulders to wake up a little bit and then bring them back down. Hands in front. That's it. Nice tall spine as we always do here. Just imagine you have a broomstick down your back. So it's keeping your spine nice and straight or that you have a string coming out of your head and it's bringing your head up to the ceiling, keeping you nice and tall. That's it, good. Get that air in now as always. Two more with the arms. And last one, now let's go out to the side. And we do have some pendulum coming today. This is the low impact version. Low impact just meaning that one foot remains on the ground at all times. And then the higher impact would be a jumping version of this, okay? And even with the high impact, you can decrease the intensity of the high impact exercises by making the moves smaller okay so a smaller range of mo motion that's it so in and out with the arms push back that's it good back and back i'm not using any weight today just simply because i'm going to be doing the high impact version but if you want to stick to the low impact version you can bring in weights just be careful of you with jumping with weight okay I i'd rather do it body weight that's it good you can, if you want to, you could try some of the moves, like a little bit of jogs with a very light pair of dumbbells. I wouldn't go too heavy at all. That's it, push back. Good. And four, three, let's go into some squats. <clears throat> Excuse me, two and one. And hold the legs open, squat thrust. Good. Thrust up. Again, getting all four limbs working for us here to warm us up quite quickly. That's it, punch out the ceiling, sit and reach, sit and reach. Good, that's it. You can let me know in the comments down below if you like this type of combination workout with high impact moves and low impact moves. I just, it just came to me, this, I am getting some messages from people that are actually taking the walking up into little jogs, some of the walking workouts. So I just thought, well, maybe I'll try a high impact, low impact combination workout and see how that goes. That's it, two to go. And last one. Good, and stay, keep the legs open and we'll do our torso reaches. Reach across, abs engaged, that's it. Punch out the ceiling. Nice strong punches now so that you get a good stretch there along your waist there, okay? Your rib cage and tap the floor with your toe and tap and tap good reach as high as you can that's it reach and reach ten to go nine eight seven six five four three two and one let's just do some our stationary walks just get those ankles ready good uh, particularly as well if you're going to do the jumping versions Get all the cracks and creaks out, warm up those calves. That's great. Now I'm leaving this workout at 
the actual portion main body of the workout at 20 minutes today just simply because of the high impact moves you could if you've never done high impact before you could try one or two of them see how you go okay if you want to introduce a little bit more intensity into your workout it's just a good way to introduce it as well just do a few moves of high intensity that's it good now let's do some ankle rotations you can hold on to something there if you like just rotating we we'll go clockwise counterclockwise we're just reversing it there you can hold a piece of furniture if you need to it's good though to work on the balance straight away you can feel your core switching on that's it other side if you lose your balance just pre uh, tap your toe on the ground that's it just rotating and back around the other way that's it good now let's do some side lunges and to the middle and over good middle that's it and over and don't worry if you can't get very deep here with your side lunges for the warm-up I always try and tend just to do partial lunges because your inner thighs can tend to be quite tight that's it over and over good and over keep your chest up right now you can keep those hands with those little thumbs just gently pressing underneath your chin to encourage you to keep your chest upright but don't force your neck backwards that's it good two more and then we'll hit the hamstrings then the back of the thighs okay so kick kick again you can hold on but again it's good for the tummy muscles to let go and see if you can um, work on the balance and the coordination so reaching and reaching you don't have to be kicking too high if you can go for that reaching so we warmed up the front of the legs there with our little squat thrusters the inside of the legs which are side lunges and now we're going behind to get the hamstrings at the back that's it good and you don't have to touch your toe just again reaching out in that general area keep breathing for me now you might feel like your heart rate's coming up a little bit now that's good that'll get the blood circulating around for you now we're working for intervals today of 15 seconds to rest or transition I said I'd give you the leave it at the 45 seconds work today in case you choose the high impact versions and if you find that's too much you can increase the rest to 20 seconds and work for 40 seconds okay let's get going now we're going to start with the low impact version it's an e-raise and your rainbow arms so we'll do a low impact move and then into a high impact move back to low impact high and then high and so on until we reach 20 minutes okay all right don't worry i have modifications for the high ones like i say Right, 15 seconds to get going let's do a little march just to keep the heart rate elevated that's it enjoy this workout it'll probably just fly by now so it will okay your mind's going to be very occupied reach up outside of your knee good so we'll just start off low impact because we can use it as a continuation of the warm-up that's it next move we're going to do is just a simple jog so if you have been jogging during your walking intervals with the walking workouts you'll be well able for the high impact version next that's it now don't lean back here okay once those arms kind of go up and over the head you might have a tendency to lean backwards keep your spine really straight that's it remember that broomstick that stuck down your top that's it oh and over come on big reaches up and over good work okay now let's just march here or you can take it into a jog if you want to do a full minute okay i'll go on the beeps now if you don't want to jump you're just gonna continue with this nice fast march okay so low impact version if you want to stay with low impact today if not let's take it up into a jog that's it good and again run those arms by your side like stationary running engage the core whether you're doing low impact or high impact that's it nice and gentle on your feet don't be slamming down nice and uh, 
gentle hops on the toes there. Now the next move we're going to do, I will show it to you during the 15 second transition, but I'll tell you about it before we finish this one. We're going to do some torso reaches across like we did in the warm up for two and two pendulum. There we go. Now I'll show it to you. March away there or join in with me if you want to. One, two. So we're back to low impact. Two torso reaches, two pendulum. Slowing it down a little bit again. Catch your breath. So two torso reaches, one, two, two pendulum. Good. One, two, two pendulum. So this is actually a great way to interval train. If you're doing it the way I'm doing it, a low impact version, high impact version. So you're getting the heart rate up with the high impact version and you're letting it come back down somewhat with the low impact move. And that's a good way to train your heart and get it very, very fit. That's great. Now the next one, we're back to a high impact version, but I'll show you a modification for a low impact version. It's two small jumps, in and out. So you're gonna jump two, out, two, in. Okay, and then for low impact version, you're just stepping out for two and the other side for two, all right? Okay, so two small jumps. Start in if you want. One, two, out for two, in. One, two, one, two. One, two. That's it, two and two. Step it out for two and in for two for people who are staying with low impact today. Good. So remember, you can do low impact for the whole 20 minutes. Good, abs engaged. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. You can even mix between the two. If you get tired halfway through the 45 seconds, change to low impact there you go okay march that out now we've got our low squat walk across the room we're back to a low impact version and then we're going to do a knee raise and over then the other side knee raise okay let's get into position sit your hips back low squat walk knee and again knee raise good over over, over, knee up, good. You can actually stay down low and do the knee raise. It's a little bit trickier with the options there. Up, good, or if you like to stand up tall, go ahead, or if you want to do the whole thing upright, so your knees are a little bit tired or sore or you have knee issues, do the whole thing upright, good. Now we've our twisting torso jumps next. Okay, and I'll show you what it looks like any second. Okay, twisting torso jumps. All right, nice fancy move for anyone that's doing low impact. You just drive your knee across your body and bring in the arms to counterbalance. Okay, all right, abs engaged. Let's go. Nice and light on your feet now. Both for both, but particularly for jumping. Feel the waistline working there, the waist muscles, the obliques. It's great in high and low impact. You probably actually even feel it more in the low impact version because it's slower. That's it. Pull your belly button right into your spine to protect your lower back, but also to help you feel that part, body part working. Remember, mix between the two. If you're getting tired of jumping, just uh, take out the jump and drive your knee across your body like I showed you there. Good. Come on, you can do this. Getting out of breath now. Woo. Well done. Okay, now back to low impact. We're going to do three knee drives. Both sides of the body, okay? Alternating. That's it. So we let the heart rate come down a little bit now if you've been jumping. One, two, three. Change. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three three, one, two, and three, that's it, one, two, and three, we've our basketball shots coming next, I'm going to jump it, but I'll show you a low impact version as well, absolutely love the next exercise, 
really gets those endorphins flowing in your body. High and low. Good. One, two. That's it. Come on. Give me some power in those arms. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. You're working the back of the shoulders here. You can feel those posture muscles working there. If you really pull those arms back. Okay, basketball shot, low impact version. You're just gonna step it on the floor, okay? Drive that knee up, work your abs, and then high impact, just add a jump, okay? Let's go. Up, other side, up, that's it, good. See if you can just lift your body weight up in the air. You can change and mix, mix it up here. You can add in a few low impacts if you want and then you can take it up into a high impact move. Nice and light on your feet, you're not slamming down on your joints. That's it, keep your joints healthy. You can do a high impact exercise and keep it safe too. Okay, that's it, lift. Well done, lift. Next we have three leg curls into one small squat and we're alternating the legs, so we have to work both sides. So I'll show you quickly, three leg curls into a little seat, and then three the other side, okay? You go ahead with that if you want to, or march it out if you just need a little bit more rest. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, sit down. One, two, three, sit down. Good, now when you're sitting into your little seat, Keep that chest upright. That's it. One, two, three. Good. Chest up. One. Kick your rear. That's it. Give me some power in those kicks. One, two, three. Feel your hamstrings working. We warmed them up there, so we did. So they're ready for this. Sit down. One, two, three. Sit down. We have some of those pendulums coming now, jumping or keeping it low impact if you want to. Good, and sit into your little seat. So, low impact version of pendulum. You're very well used to it now on this channel, or you can take it up into a, a jump, okay? You won't get the height of the legs with the jump, but you'll definitely get that heart and lungs uh, reacting to it. That's it, good. And you can bring in some arms, crisscross in front, so, if you bring in all four limbs, you're going to get very breathless. You can do it for 10 seconds if you like, and then you can take it into the low impact version. Again, interval training within your time, your 45 seconds. Good. That's it. Take it up high again. Leave out the arms if you're getting too out of breath. That's it. Keep going now. Come on. I like this move. It's good. Nice and bouncy off the toes, no heels involved. Just there now. Well done, okay. Low version now, we're into curtsies and chest opens. Now if you can take your curtsy down into a full knee bend, go ahead. If not, stay upright with a slight bend in the knee to take pressure off the joint, okay. Join me now. That's it, good. Open, that's it, let's open and stretch the pectorals or the chest muscles while you work your posture muscles there behind the po opposing muscle groups to your chest. That's it, good. Heart rate is still high. Down if you want to, into your curtsies, or if you're too breathless, just do this modified version. Good, now we're gonna shuffle across the room and that's actually a very common exercise on the channel. It's a very, very, light intensity even though it's higher intensity than stepping it's very light so i do include it a lot in our workout so you know your shuffle across the room you can add in an arm if you want to okay or if you want to do low impact today maybe you're just feeling tired just step it across okay let's get ready this is our high impact move so i'll do that one Stay low if you want to, just step it across. You can still circle your arms as well with a low impact version. Good, right up over your head. Reach up, that's it. Tall spine to the, tall head to the ceiling and a straight spine. That's it, good, think about height here. Think about length in your body. That's 
sit good circle try and get a full circumduction of the arms to really really let the shoulders um, they have a great mobility a range of motion the shoulders do so let's see what they can do that's it good and around good work now back to low impact knee raises forward and back if you want to or stay on the spot okay and we're going to drive the arms we're going to get these arms involved they haven't really been involved today much okay let's get those arms moving how are you feeling you're feeling warmer you should be <laughs> particularly if you're jumping that's it good now you can stay on the spot or you can if you have space use it up it's great when you have the room getting off the spot good now we're going back to a high impact move next with a modification for any beginners out there or anyone who just wants to do low impact it's a jog on the spot we're going to punch the ceiling though the hands will be over the head so that's going to make it very challenging good of course you don't have to do that you can just jog it out okay so we're just doing a jog it out you can march there have a little extra rest if you need to or join me and then punch the ceiling okay we go on the beeper a few seconds left march it if you're not jogging this is what you do punch the ceiling though come on you get your guy your arms going too okay all right now punch 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 you feel your abs working hard now you'll feel them even more if you engage come on draw that belly button into your spine good punch punch that's it keep your body strong good we're in charge here that's it come on punch that ceiling we are strong women we can do this that's it good don't ever let anything get the better of you always know think positive thoughts and that you can do it always have i can do it attitude all right that's it good work now march that out and bring the heart rate down we have a shuffle step next so we're going to step off for two and in for two okay it's a low impact version so we're only go we're just stepping okay two up for two you can bend the knees deeply if you have the energy for it down or you can do it upright out for two in for two that's it good now our high impact move coming next with a modification is scissors quite uh, an intense move all right because again all four limbs are going to be involved but again i will show you the low impact version which we do here a lot is just our modified back lunge or step backs okay you can work between the two if you like good nearly there now might get one more there you go now scissors low impact version step backs and you can bring in your arms okay high impact version you're just going to jump and bring in the arms if you want to okay you can leave out arms they're optional today okay high or low what do we do we go high okay remember you don't have to do the high for too long 10 seconds then you can take it down to a low impact version or march it and bring it back in giving you lots of options that's it slight bend in the waist but you're still looking forward thumbs up thumbs up that's it good give me two thumbs up good work feel those glutes working those buns behind you there nice and light on the feet we've got eggs in our shoes and we're not going to smash them that's your challenge here good back to a low impact version now okay next move move 17 Ooh, that's a tough one four sorry one and two three four crossovers to the front with the legs and four behind okay is next okay that 15 seconds is going fast faster for me kick one more now behind one two three four and one two three four and one two three four good let your heart rate come down here 
that's it good let it recover because you'll the next exercise if you do it high impact you'll perform it better your technique will be better once you let that heart rate recover good that's a mistake i used to make for years never letting the heart rate drop and then your form becomes a little bit sloppy then one and two okay next move is just a light skip pretend you've got i want you to pretend you've got a rope there because look you're working lots of rotator cuffs in your shoulder area and different little muscles that you don't normally work you can low impact version just do what i'm doing here okay or you can take it up light toe to toe all right a little bit higher up for anyone who wants to take up the pace lift your toes up a little higher like you would if you had to clear a rope or you can do the boxer skip nice and light bending the knees slightly keeping your trunk upright none of this as you see people when they're skipping nice tall spine okay tuck in the elbows turn that rope for me and like I said I knew this workout was going to go by so fast can't believe we're nearly done already two moves left low impact version now back down to low all right we have some march it out there if you need to bring your heart rate down side steps and a back fly okay just out with the arms so we're just going to be working those back muscles too okay let's get the legs going first step out to the side that's it and i want you to control the fly i don't want you just to swing your arms all over the place contract those back muscles slow it down if you have to contract 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 those muscles that lie between your shoulder blades that's it squeeze like water out of a sponge squeeze squeeze that's it good work squeeze well done okay now the next move we've got a little bit of a squat going on squat and hops and but of course you don't have to you can just squat away with no hopping for the next one okay now i'll just show it to you so we're going to go into a squat we're just going to jump to the other side and over now if you don't like that you find it's too hard on the knees just step it over okay and over and over so it's your lateral squats that you see me doing a lot here okay you can even stay upright well actually no we're squatting of course not so over we go sorry i'm gonna to have to get you down for this one <laughs> it's the last move though good let's go over the bang here that's it good over tailbone to the floor chest upright use those thumbs under your chin again without throwing your neck back oh this is going to be a burn by the time we get to that 45 seconds good and over keep going come on you're doing well stay with me last move today good work keep breathing take in that air and there you go well done well done that was a nice workout 20 minutes done taking big deep breaths okay right get that air in which i believe you finished off there with a jumping move and there you go high low impact workout done in 20 minutes plus your warm-up okay so that was great I'd like you to cool down now so I will link up my cool down playlist in the description box below this video so it's there for you just press on any of those cool downs there there's some there as little as eight to ten minutes and some of you wanted an extensive cool down as long as 30 minutes but make sure you get it in now if you liked this workout and um, I'd appreciate a thumbs up because it really does help that channel to be pushed out to more ladies like yourself and also if you want to leave me a comment on today's workout just so I can gauge did you like it we weren't too pushed about it and um, i might just see what else i can come up with for you okay so i'm always trying to um just come up with new ideas keeping the mind occupied keeping the muscles occupied too thanks for joining me today big thumbs up to you i'll see you in the next one bye bye